you may remember a few weeks ago I showed you the Blaze from Atom, uh, which was the little brother of the Viper from Atom. Uh, and I showed you the Blaze and Dave Dawn gave you a little glimpse of the Viper um, on his um, birthday show. Yes. Um, so I picked one of these up. I picked the Viper up at Vapor Expo. So what I thought I'd do is uh, show you a less gin-infused version um, of, uh, of the Viper. So uh, let's have a look at what you get. Yes. The packaging is uh, very similar to the Blaze, which makes sense. It comes in a cardboard box, which is recycled cardboard. Um, it comes with the little product catalog little mini thing, a little cleaning cloth, some waterproof stick-on decals that you can wrap around your battery, should you so wish, uh, and then the battery itself plus the pre-built tank and a spare glass tank. And then underneath the plastic, if I can just get that out, underneath the plastic you have your USB charging cable the instructions for the coil and also for the battery and a spare coil uh, and the coils are the same as on the blaze and um, it's variable juice flow so let's take this out and we'll have a little look very secure in there there's a spare tank it's the venom tank on the um, Viper device and uh, to change that that's the uh, atomizer head let me zoom in that's the pre-installed atomizer head uh, and as you can see if I just put that down for a second move that out of the way you can change the juice flow by rotating this part here at the bottom um, it's better to have it on full juice because then you're going to get the maximum juice onto your atomizer and then if you've got it on full airflow which is changed here then you're going to get a much better vape I should think changing the uh, atomizer is easy enough you just unscrew it there you go and it screws back in and it's, as you can see this is completely hollow so that is what is connecting onto your um, battery which is why this does not fit on a normal Ego battery. Yeah. Change the tank, you literally unscrew the two sections and the tank comes off. And then you can put the spare one on. If you crack it, I guess, I'll put it around the right way, Marco. Screw that back on, which is rather handy. I like that. I like the fact that it comes with a spare tank, just like the sub tanks do these days. Um, so that's on there, nice and tight. Um, filling it, you fill from the bottom as you would any other Ego style. So what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, we'll fill that. And what have I got this week? I've got some flavours: fruits and berries, peach smoothie, strawberry. Yeah, or peach strawberry smoothie. <laughs> if I say it right, there you go. It's a brand new bottle. I got this from uh, Herman Vapes, Namba Juice, um, at uh, Easter Expo. Uh, this one is a uh, six milligram, I think. I'm just looking. There we go. It's on the front. Six milligram. Yeah. Let's give it a little bit of a smell. Oh, it smells nice. It smells nice, people. So we'll just fill the tank. You know what I do that. Missing the middle tube, which I haven't done, but there you go. Um, fill that to the level when it's just at yes I wouldn't bother too much about priming the bottom um, because that's going to prime and soak in while we talk about the other part of the kit um, as I mentioned of course it is a 510 drip tip and have I got another 510 drip, drip, drip tip I can put on for you um Got this one, yeah, that's fit. That's off the uh, tornado tank, um, but a decent size drip tip there. So we'll leave that to soak in, 
and we'll look at the battery and we'll just put this juice over here now, I'm in the unfortunate position of having to go to Scotland tomorrow so I was going to be filming this tomorrow <laughs> but I'm filming it now uh, and then um, what we'll do is I'll talk to you in the car um, and I'll be using it on the way which is a four and a half hour journey so this is already charged I must tell you I've charged it already um, charges at the bottom the USB port there um, you have your little atom battery um, and it's five click on five click off there we go now interestingly this top section comes off so you can fit other devices on the top and let me tell you it will fire another device um, and I'm going to grab a sub tank one of my sub tanks and um, this is the one I was using last weekend and it's currently got um, wolf wolf a stare in it and um, which is very nice um, let me just tell you what the resistance is by putting it on my vapor shark And it's a 0.21 coil, according to the uh, vapor shark. 0.21. So I'm going to put it on my device. And it does fire. You can hear that. And you can see it runs, um, it runs a sub tank quite nicely. It looks ridiculous, of course, but um, in an emergency, <laughs> it might be okay. Let me put the top a little bit back on and screw that back in. So it does run a sub tank quite nicely. Um, it's obviously designed for this so this shouldn't fit on a uh, another device so what we're going to do is um, get another device on the go so here I've got um, an e-mount battery and this has got the Nimbus tank on um, that I was using to test one of the juices that I made on Mixivate um, and it's a normal cancel coil And as you see, it works. So, of course, this is a ego style thread. So we're going to put the venom tank on, and we'll see if this powers the venom tank. And you'll see there it's flashing away, telling me go away. I'm not going to use you. Um, so this does not work on other devices. Let me tell you. But, as I've already shown with the um, sub-tank, this battery will power other devices. And that's the Nimbus tank. So, it's a one-way deal, basically. It will power... It will power this... Um, and it will power other devices, but this doesn't work on anything else. So that is um, that's quite nifty, don't you think? So let's open up the throttle. There we go. Full airflow on there. We've already set the juice to full juice flow, and it's had plenty of time to soak in. So let's give it a blast. And you can see it does produce incredibly well. Um, it is, I have to say, very loud. And you can hear it. Cracking away quite nicely. Uh, 
and there you go yes um the juice is a bit different <laughs> you can t definitely get strawberries from it um but i shall um i shall be vaping on this in the car tomorrow um and um i'll give you more findings then i think um because i really want to kind of take it through its paces uh, and um, hopefully it will work quite nicely so there you go as for them for the moment that's the um, the atom viper um, it's a nice nice little unit it's um, fairly long I can't find my ruler <laughs> so what I've got is my uh, my fat max yes other um, DIY measuring instruments are of course available and you can see there it is seven inches long including the um, atomizer on top now if we look at the blaze the blaze comes in at just a tad under seven inches so we put them both together you can see the difference there most of that being in the battery length um, and just to see we will see if these are interchangeable with each other because we've already ascertained that this will not work on any other battery but will it work on the blaze battery we shall see yes it does however this battery is on its way out um, power wise needs charging so but it does actually work and we'll see any juice in there yes we'll see if this tank works on the atom battery which it does and it performs reasonably well it's the same um, atomizer inside so i didn't have any any inkling that it wouldn't work on on the batteries but what that proves is this works on these batteries this works on these batteries um, these batteries will power other things that are the same resistance but not lower um, but these will not work on any other devices which is good I like that um, then you can't use something that's far too low resistance on a battery and end up going pop um, now I've got to tell you before I uh, head off to the car this is an 1100 milliamp hour it's passed through like the blaze battery um, it has the uh, the snake bite sub X ohm coils and they're 0.5 ohms um, and it also comes with a, a snake bite mid ohm coil at 1.2 ohms that's the one you get spare Obviously the Pyrex tank and the uh, micro USB charger. Yeah. Um, so it'll go down quite low. It obviously will go down to about 0.2 um, on the battery, given that the sub tank that I put on was a uh, 0.21. So there you go. Yeah. We'll go to the car now. Good morning. Hello. It's uh, five past ten on Sunday, the twenty-sixth of July. Yes. Uh, and as I mentioned in my first bit of VT, I'm having to go to Scotland uh, on a bit of an emergency dash. Um, so I've been driving for a number of hours already, <laughs> but I'm nearly there. Yes. So uh, what I thought I'd do is um, talk a bit more about the Viper, which you've seen in the first bit of VT. As I mentioned, it's an 1100 milliamp hour battery, micro USB charging with pass through, uh, and it came with the Venom tank, which comes with a 0.5 ohm resistance atomizer and a 1.2 ohm resistance atomizer and a spare Pyrex tank. It's got a 2 mil capacity, I think, 2 mil capacity, uh, and a wide bore tip. Yes, so there you go. Um, five click on, five click off, just like an Ego battery. However, the actual tank doesn't fit on a normal Ego battery, it only fits on the Atom batteries. However, the Atom battery 
will power something else like an ego style device that goes on the top or even a sub tank at 0.21 ohms yeah because it's got the circuitry built into the battery which will allow you to use a low resistance device on the top safely um, but when I tried it on the EMO it didn't like it I also tried it on the EVIC Supreme with the top off uh, and didn't like it on there either so um, that's quite good so what can I tell you about it what more can I tell you about it really uh, well it's nice it's <laughs> that's all there is to say it produces and that's what you want it's there's there's no ifs no buts um, it's charged up and it produces a nice lot of vapor let me get rid of it for you it's a little bit loud with the uh, with the window open but it clears the vapor quite quickly because it creates a reverse vortex don't you know when you open the window the pressure differential between the outside and the inside sucks it out did you know that yeah fun fact <laughs> so let me give you a, a kind of comparison between a 10 second lung inhale on the Viper and then following that I'll do a 10 second lung inhale using the Limo 2 which is coiled up at 0.17 with NI200 and Japanese cotton set at 500 degrees Fahrenheit and 25 watts on the Vapor Shark. So uh, first things first 10 second lung inhale using the, uh, the Viper. Produces, doesn't it? It certainly produces. Let me just uh, get rid of the uh, vapor again. There we go. And now we'll do the same thing, but with the Limo 2. And I have to say, this is 18 milligram juice I've got in here. <laughs> I'm hardcoring it today. As you can see, plenty of vapor from that as well. Um, it's comparable, comparable with the Limo 2, with a, a bigger device. Um, even though it's such a small battery uh, and such a small tank, um, it likes to suck the juice, I have to say. Um, and it doesn't get as hot as the Blaze. I have to say, um, they do recommend that you don't um, chain. Wow, a, 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 an Aston Martin DB7 just shot past me. <laughs> and it was nice, I've got to say. Um, yes, Atom do recommend that you don't um, inhale and then do another one really quickly because it will get warm. What they recommend is 30 seconds in between. Uh, which is you know not bad but if you're doing a decent lung inhale you don't need to do another one within 30 seconds to be fair um, and it also depends on the strength of juice you're using now I've got the juice that I got from Herman Vapes which is the strawberry smoothie uh, but that's only six milligram so um, that's not too that's not too bad when you're doing the old lung inhales uh, on the Limo 2 uh, I've got some um, juice from Icelix, which is the Piccadilly I've got in here, 18 milligram. Very nice juice, I have to say. Um, but obviously, I wouldn't do as many lung inhales um, in one go using 18 milligram because uh, I'd feel a little bit nicked out after a while. Um, so, six is really good for sub I have to say. Um, although, I've been using a lot of three as well um, on the various devices um, I do have on the VT60 which is here the tornado tank with a um, a wicked coil that I did myself using the uh, the re-wicking uh, the rebuildable version of the CL uh, that's um, 
that's at 0.17 using NI200 uh, and um, rayon I've got in that one uh, and that is that's going rather nicely um, but in there I've got uh, some elements um, orange burst uh, which is rather nice I have to say um, but the uh, the strawberry smoothie it's okay um, I would vape it occasionally but uh, it wouldn't be an everyday an all-day vape um, it does have a nice taste of strawberry um, but you know you win some you lose some with the juices some of them you like some of them you don't like um, so I'll try anything once apart from uh, bacon or um, chicken pie or, or crab juice <laughs> or stuff like that or stinky shark uh, or blue cheese although I do like blue cheese but I don't think I'd like a blue cheese vape anyway back to the Viper it does whistle a little bit and I've got that kind of three quarters open if I open it all the way on the airflow uh, and don't forget on the atomizer I've got the atomizer set at full juice flow um, which is the best really so have it all open so uh, this is the um, airflow fully open and as you can see it fair produces so um, yeah that's the atom viper it's rather nice um, it's a nice little form factor uh, it's, it's kind of top pocketable although it does stick out a little bit um, if you've got it in your pocket in your uh, trouser pocket be careful when you get in the car because I've snapped them before not this one but I've snapped other ones before uh, when I've got into the car <laughs> snapped off the end um, but there you go